In this video, I'll be going over how to update to FL Studio 21, along with how to change themes and how to make your own. If you're watching this before the official release, I'll have a link in the description to download the pre-release version. Otherwise, you can download it from the official download page. Once you have FL Studio 21, you can change your theme under the Options menu by selecting Theme Settings or hitting T. From here you'll be shown a panel with various presets, an adjustment section to create your own themes, along with a switch to toggle between different edits. You can use the adjustments layer to change certain options like the hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, and text brightness. Using the color accents, you can also create custom colors for things like selections, highlights, solo mute buttons, option buttons, steps on the step sequencer, the dB meters, and text. You also have the option to change between light and dark mode to change the contrast of certain parts, and link the colors of clips to the colors in your panel roll notes instead of the default colors. Once you save a theme, it'll be added to the presets panel. You may have noticed some themes have a custom background. If you want to link a background to your theme, you can save the image under the themes folder with the same name as your custom theme. You can also use this to create a custom thumbnail in the preset panel. By making a 318 by 180 pixel image and saving it as a JPEG with THM before it, in the description, you can find the link to download my custom theme, along with the link to the FL Studio forum where you can find more themes to download and try out. 